Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, welcome. Hello, hey. teacher. Hi, how are you? Um, today, I feel a little bit tired, but I think everything good. Okay, nice. It's nice to hear that. Uh, I hope everything is okay, you know, because, yeah, you're tired, you understand. Thank you for your time. I appreciate. What about the rest? How are you guys? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Pretty good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining. What about Juan? How are you, Juan? I'm good, teacher, and you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Thank you. What can you do? Okay. Hello. How are you, Is Everything good? Hi, Mr. Vasquez. Hello. Good, thank awesome. you. Excellent, everything is okay. Thank you for asking, yes. Yes. All right, we're going to begin, guys. Thank you for joining. Uh, well, I want to inform you about, you know, the module. Remember that next week, we're going to finish with the module. Please, because today I received new instructions related to the module. Remember that you have to complete with the platform, with the whole platform. Some of you have finished, very nice. Thank you, congratulations. And please, the people that are missing with platform, I know, I know that you're working with the platform. Very nice. Continue working, continue working on these days. You have until next week, you have to complete the platform a, a day before we finish with the module. You have to finish with the platform, with everything. You have time, yes, you have time have the weekend and next week, right? In order to complete it. If you have finished the platform, very nice, excellent, congratulations. If you haven't, if you haven't finished, don't worry, you have time, you have time and you have to complete it, okay? Well, I want I want to welcome some of your classmates. Fabiola, please, Fire. Oh. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you guys? Hi, teacher. Very good, teacher. Very good, teacher. Excellent. Thanks. That is fantastic. Okay, uh, we are starting, and I'm giving you some announcements. Announcements. Uh, the first, well, what I said is that next week we're going to finish with the module. Yeah, but we have some time. But I want to remind you about the uh, Remember that you have to complete it next week. I mean, until next week. You have to do it, or you have to complete it a day before we finish with it. Okay, so we're going to finish next Thursday. Next Thursday. If I'm not mistaken, let me check. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Next Thursday is 25th. 25th, okay. So we have to finish with platform until next Let's say Wednesday, because we have to complete it a day before we finish. And remember that we have to do, have to do the final test. So next week, we're going to finish with the module and we have to finish the platform. At the same time, we're, we're going to have the final test. Okay, let's get ready. Practice, the study, all the units because we, we're going to do the final test, the final exam, right? Well, um, any questions? Try to complete you know, the platform during the weekend if you're missing some sections. I know that you're working. You're working in the platform. That's really nice. But remember to complete it on time and try to take advantage of the weekend. 
Roger, I think you have a question, sorry. No, teacher, I don't have a question. Okay. No, teacher, I finished the platform. Oh, okay. nice. Thank you for informing. Very nice. Well, uh, does somebody else, uh, you know, has somebody else finished with the platform? I know that Roxana, Gabriela. Yes, I finished. Yes, I finished the platform. Roger, okay. Yes, I finished okay. the platform. One, excellent. Somebody I, else? I, I finished the uh, platform, teacher. Okay, this, yeah. excellent. Me too. But in the certificate, okay. the date is April. April. Yes. The certificate. Hmm. Uh, for example, in my certificate, the date is 8 April. Hmm. Okay. Well, I am not aware of that. Let me ask. Let me ask. And if you can help me, Luis, you can contact me and send me a screenshot. I mean, I am not familiar with that, with the certificate. Uh, let me know, okay? Let me know, contact me and, and send me a picture, right? Okay. okay. Well, I think, yeah, almost every, well, everybody I think has, has finished. Well, the people that are here, I know that I have some people that is absent right now. Some people that are absent. Let me see, um, Jose, have you finished with the platform? No, not yet. I only need to do the final exam. Oh, okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Have time. Remember that we have tomorrow, the weekend, and we have next week. But you have to complete yeah. the platform until next Wednesday. It's okay. Yeah, Don't worry. I complete the, the platform this, this week. It's okay. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Um, well, every, thank you. Thank you so much because you have completed the platform. Teacher, I have a question. Come, tell me. Hay un examen final con usted? Mm, well, no, only the final exam. Okay. Yeah, only that. Okay, only thank that. you. You're welcome. Yeah, you have to focus on the platform, only on the platform, right? Don't worry. Okay. Well, uh, any questions for to continue? No question. Okay. No questions. Teacher. But oh. I, uh, teacher, I oh. checked my checking or I checked my my certificate and it is saying that Luis said the Me? the date of the of the model model of next module or the this date. one on April March to April oh okay I got you I got you but oh. but it's a, a eight eight or eight 8th April, I remember. Mm. I'm not sure. Okay, let's do something. Let's do something. Send me a screenshot, please. One of you, send me a screenshot. I will ask tomorrow about the certificate and I will, you know, I will let you know if it is correct or if it is a problem in the certificate. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, Roxana, if, if you can send me a screenshot, please. The certificate. I will ask someone from this cooperative if it is correct, or you know, I will ask for some explanations, you know, in order to help you. Okay. Yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Sure. Well, let's begin. I don't know if he's somewhere else has a question. Okay, let's begin. Let's go with the conditional sentences. Conditional sentences, session number 12. Uh, today, we will have the first conditional. That is the topic, first conditional. 
Uh, well, today is Thursday, March 18, 2021. The topic is the first conditional. We will focus on the conditional sentences. But now, let's begin. What is the first conditional or when do we use it? We use the first conditional to talk about possibilities in the present or in the future. Okay? I have to keep in mind that, okay? Present or future. See? I... Oh. Okay, thank you, Edith. Thank you. Well, if you can do me a favor, Edith, can you send me, I'm sorry, can you send me the, the that file WhatsApp? It's via WhatsApp? Please. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. When do we use the first conditional? We use the first conditional to talk about possibilities in the present and in the future. Listen, we have possibilities. Possibilities, and that could be in the present or in the future. We have two parts. For the first conditional, we have two parts. We have the if clause, as we, you know, as we saw in the previous session. We have clauses, clauses, or sentences. We have the if clause and the main clause. If clause, main clause. We use this word, this expression, which is a word in conjunction to if, for a connector, if, and we use it for additions, conditions, if class and the main class. What is the structure that we follow? The structure that we follow is if, plus present, present simple, plus, fu plus future, in that form, when we're talking about the future simple or the simple future, we have will, want, will or want, will or want, and we can include, we can use models, we can use my or we can use may. Because they express future, future possibilities, right? Again, the structure is plus simple present or present simple plus future Simple. In the future, simple, we have will or want, will or want, and we have the models, we can include them, my or may, because they express future possibilities. Well, talking about the two parts, the if class and the main class, well, we have the if class, in that part we have the, the simple present, if plus simple present, and we know that the simple present is a structure in this way, the subject, the verb, the brain based form, and a complement. That is the if clause, if clause. And the main clause, second, in the main clause, we have the future same. And, you know, it is a structure in this way, subject plus will or want plus the verb in base form. But we can have in that case, Subject plus my or may, the verb in base form, and at the end we have a complement. Those are the two classes. If class is the condition, and then we have the main class, which is the result. The result. Okay. Well, any questions so far? Teacher, in yeah. in modal my my and may have a negative statement. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. So we can say, my not, my not, we can say, may not. Yes, we have negative one. Okay. So in, this, in that case, it's like subject plus my or may not. as a verb, which is in base form. And then we have a complement. Okay, yes. So that is for negative form. With the models, okay. with the models. Because with, with feature simple, which is will or want in this case, we use will or want. Uh, want is a negative form. And we know that that is the contract. 
contraction. We have will not, and the contraction is one. One. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Questions? Good. No, it's, Asking? it's good. By the way, I have Manel. Sorry, what is in the meeting? Hi, what is it? Welcome. Hi, teacher. Sorry for being late. It's okay. How are you? What is it? I am fine. I'm very well. Perfect. And you? I'm doing well. Yes. Thank you for asking. Uh, well, did you join us uh, a few minutes ago, Mauricio? Did you listen to the whole explanation? Yes, the first connection? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, let me ask you something, Mauricio. Have you finished with the platform? No. Uh, I am going in the section five. Oh, section five. Okay. Five. You're about to finish. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Okay. So you have time. I'm asking you this because I received some instructions today, today afternoon, I think. Yeah. And some authorities from English Cooperativo you know, let us know that you have to complete the platform. We have another week. You know, we're missing one week. And that will be next. We're going to have the last session, session or we'll have four and five. And remember that you have to complete the platform until next Wednesday. You have to complete it a day before Thursday. But you are we're about to finish, Mauricio. Everything is okay. I think we're going to finish during the weekend, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you for thank you. letting me know. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Any questions about the first conditional or well, first part? Thank you, Luis, for sending it. Questions? Anything else? No? No, no question. question. Okay. No question, teacher. No. no questions yes. for the member question. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Well, moving on. Now we have some examples. Some examples for the first condition. Remember, we have the if class plus the main class. Okay. Let's look at the examples. Look at the examples. Number one, if it rains, I will stay at home. If it rains, I will stay at home. That is the first example. As you can see, we start with if it rains, that is the if class, and the if class in the is in the present simple. If it rains, we say rains because we're using the third person, it rains, then we separate the if class with a comma, and we say, I will stay at home. This is the main class, and it is in the future. Will. Okay, we're using rains, because remember that we had the third person in the single present. So we have to use, we have to add S in the verb. If it rains, I will stay at home. We can change, we can change because we have another structure. We can change and we can have the main class first. The main class. Then we, we can have the A plus. A plus. A plus. Okay. We can say, I will stay at home if it rains. As you can see in this case, we don't use comma because the if clause is at the end and if is in the middle. That's why we don't use comma in order to separate the two ideas. In the first case, yes, we use comma. If it rains, comma, I will stay at home. In the second possibility, I will stay at home if it rains is we don't use comma. And it's the same. We don't alter the meaning. We have the same meaning, right? 
we can say, listen, we can say the same, same sentence. I can use the same sentence with tomorrow, my or me. I can say, if it rains, I might stay at home. If it rains, I might stay at home. The same, the same. Because we're expressing future possibilities. Possibilities, right? Let's see more examples, more examples. Number two, if I wake up late, I won't get to work on time. If I wake up late, I won't get to work on time. Again, we're using the if class at the beginning, and then we have the main class in the future simple, right? Can we say this example in the other way? What do you think? And what would be the way? Tell me. What is the other way? We want to change positions. Positions. We want to alternate. What is in the, the way? second sentence? Yeah. Or yeah, the second example. What is the other word? What is the other way? Sorry. I won't get I won't get to work on time if I woke up late. Exactly. Exactly. I won't get to work on time if I woke up late. Yeah, that is the way. And as you can see, we're using a negative form in the future simple. Negative form. I will not, or I won't get to work on time if I wake up late. Okay, perfect. Next, number three. I will listen to one. Can you help me with the third example? Can you read the third example? With number three. Yes, please. You will go on a trip if you say save money. Exactly. Very good. So we have a condition and we have a, a result. Okay, and the condition, what is the condition? What do you think in that example? What is the condition? Uh, is if you say uh, if you say money. Exactly, that is the condition. If you say money. What will happen? What is the result? You will go on a trip. You will go on a trip. Yes. Right? That is the way we establish or we structure the idea. In this case, we're using the second way. The second way. What is the other way? We want to have the if class at the beginning. Yeah. If, if you save money, you <laughs> will go on a trip. Okay. Yes. Thank you. If you save money, or you will go on three. Yes. Again, at the condition, the result. Condition and result, or result and condition. In this case, with the third example, we have the result first and then the condition. And it is false. That is correct. Number four, I listen to Judith. Okay. Judith, can you have the number five, number four, sorry? Can you read the example? If he speaks. Teacher, sorry, but my internet is out. Oh. oh uh, now is good, but after I. Okay. Um, okay. You come up with the fourth example. Fourth example. He yes, speaks. What the? Can you, can you can you read example number four? If he yes, speaks. Oh no. Can you read the example number four? Ah, read. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Okay. okay. We will uh, about 
I don't know pronounce a boat. Uh, no, if, if number four, number four. Speak, yes. <laughs> if he speak English, he will get a better job. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Well, again, we have the condition and then the results. What is the condition? He will get a better. He will get a better. No. That no. is the. Are you sure? No, no. Is uh, the condition is he speak English? Okay. Exactly. The... Yeah. If he speaks English, that is the condition and the result. He will. What is the result? The question is for Judith, right? Mm, <laughs> I mean, you can answer if you want. It's okay. He will get a better job. It's a result. Yes. Peter, exactly. Can you repeat me the question, please? Uh, what is the result? What is the result in this example? Yeah, the condition is if he speaks English, what is the result? He will get a better job. He will get a better job. Exactly. Excellent. Okay, what is the other way? How can we say, what is the other way we can say it? We will avoid. He will? We will yeah. avoid the number. He number will four. get a better job if he speaks English. Yes. Yeah, number four, number four. He will, Sorry. it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. He will get a better job if he speaks English. Again, we use the verb in this way because we're using the third person. This simple present, he speaks English, okay? And the last one, the last one, this is a, another example. Let me see, I will listen to this. Okay. We will avoid the number of COVID-19 cases if we stay at home. Yes. And that is a, a nice nice example you know, in order to, to warn you because yeah, the virus is around the country, around the world. So we have to be calm. Okay, yeah, we will avoid the, the number of COVID-19 cases if we stay at home. What is the condition? If we stay at home. If we stay at home. What is the result, guys? We will avoid the number of We will avoid the number of COVID-19. 19 cases. Yes. cases. Oh, 19 cases, right. Yes. <laughs> what is the other way? If we stay at home, yeah. we will avoid the number of COVID-19 cases. Yes. We stay at home. We will avoid the number of COVID-19 cases, exactly. Very good, this is the way we, we structure the first condition. All the time we have the if class, and the main class. The if class, we have the simple present, and that is the condition. In the main class, we use a simple feature, will or want, and we can use models, by and may. And that expresses the result, okay? Any questions, questions about this? I have a question about the moon. If you say, if it rains, I, I, might, uh, I might stay at home, the idea is, is what is the difference? It's different, the idea. Mm, well, in that case, it could be a, a possibility. It could be a possibility. Because remember that when we use my or may, they they have they have the same level of 
um, the same level of uh, transcendence of certainty, sorry, they have the same level of certainty and they have the 50%, 50% that is a future possibility. What but, is that? But when you use will, it's not a possibility too? It is, it is, but that is a future, let's say a future result that you have. Okay, so probably you are sure, you are sure that you will stay at home. That could be a future prediction because we use will, right? But probably you are, let's say you are a little bit sure that you will stay at home. But if you use my or may, yeah, it is a possibility. But it depends because if you say I might stay at home, it could be possible that you are going to go out. Rains. It doesn't matter if you rains. Okay, you might go out. That could be another way. I might go out. Okay. If you use will, we have let's say like an eighty percent or a ninety percent that you will sell. Because okay. that could be a, say, a prediction, or in some cases, it could be a, a plan, let's say, a plan. Okay? Okay. Yeah, but you can vary. You can vary because you can use my and may, because my and may express future possibilities. Yes. Make sense, Luciana? What? Does it make sense? Yes. I got it. Thanks. Okay. Does somebody else have a question? Right. Far so good. No questions, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about this. You know, this is something that we were discussing previously. That we can change decisions with first conditional. Yes, we can. Uh, if we say, and we, we will start with the first structure, let's say, with if clause and then the main clause, I study, I study, I will pass my exams. I will pass my exams. We're talking about possibilities, possibilities. Yeah. If I study, I will pass my exams. Okay. We have first the present simple and the if clause and the future simple in the main clause. We can change the conditions. We can start with the main clause. Simple, we can say I will pass my exams in my study. Okay. We change. Change. We use it. Remember, we use the first conditional to talk about possible situations and their consequences in the future. In the future. Okay? That is where we use first conditional. Any questions? Oh, teacher. <clears throat> when you use the conditional at the beginning or at the end, at the end, the idea is the same. It depends on you that the way that you uh, that you want to speak. Exactly, exactly. So you can start with the result. I will pass my exams if I study. Or if I study, I will pass my exams. It's the same, you have the same meaning. So it depends, as you say, the way you want to say it. Uh, at the moment you are speaking, yes. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Any questions, doubts, comments? Something that is not clear? All clear, teacher. Thank you. Thanks. No, no more questions. Yes. Okay. I. All right. We're going to move I on. Take... Can I start? No, no, no. I I take in the, the new topic. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, nice. Well, moving on. 
now let's practice. I have some situations for you, some conditions. I need you to use them and give us, you know, look at the statements provided with the sentences by using the first conditional and providing your own ideas. If it rains this afternoon, what will happen? What will happen if it rains this afternoon? What will happen if you don't work more hours? What will happen if you take your medicine? What will happen if you don't work tomorrow? What will happen if you have enough money? Listen, we have the conditions. The conditions. The clauses. The if clauses are in the present simple. You have to tell me the results. The future possibilities. Okay? So you can use will, you can use want, you can use my, you can use may. It's up to you. What you have to do is to write in your notebooks these sentences. You have to complete them with your own ideas. Okay? Any questions? Okay. No, only complete with the may, may, uh, may clause or, or, okay. uh, or the result for that condition. Absolutely. So you have to complete. You have to write the main clause, as you said. All of these? All of them. All of them, yes. All Five of them, yeah. In the yeah. Okay. Let's go. I'll give you some time. If you have any questions, I'm here, remember, and you can ask me. Let's go. Take your time. Take your time. Once you're ready, remember, let me know. Yeah? We'll listen to you. Yes, for one, only one. You have to complete all of them. The all five examples. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Have any questions? Let me know.
I am ready. Excellent. Okay. I'll give you. Well, because your class your classmates are, are working, I will give you three or from four minutes. Take your time. Okay. Take your time. Thank you, Tatiana. I am ready, teacher. Thanks. Perfect. I finished, teacher. Excellent. I finished teacher. Thanks for informing. I finished two teacher. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Two more minutes. I finished teacher. Yeah. Okay, we're going to begin. Then most of you have finished. We're gonna go number one and I want to listen to everybody, every single exercise. Let's begin. Let's go with the first. Thank you, thank you. Let's begin. Number one, what will happen if it rains this afternoon? Volunteer? Uh, me. Me. Um, okay. me. <laughs> okay. Let's go with Roxana, then Roger. Okay. Okay. Uh, if it rains, this afternoon, I won't go to the gym. Oh, okay. perfect. Okay. What about you, Roger? Okay. Um, if it rained this afternoon, I won't go to the bar with my friends. Yes. Perfect. That's really nice. Anybody else? If it if it rains this afternoon, I will go to the beach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Karina. What about Luis? What will happen, Luis, if it rains this afternoon? Uh, I will leave. No, I will bring an umbrella. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That is nice. I will bring an umbrella or I will use an umbrella. What about you, Jose? What will happen if it rains this afternoon or this night? If it rains this afternoon, I won't go to the park. Oh, yes. Thank you. Juan, what will happen if it rains this afternoon? If it rains this afternoon, I won't go of my house. 
Yeah. Thanks. See, Mauricio, what will happen if it rains is unclear? What question? Number one, what will happen if it rains this afternoon? Yes. I will can carry. Oh, yeah. Good. Thank you. Did it? If it rains the, this afternoon, I could go out. Hmm. No. I, I could. You said you say I could, right? I could go out. No. It could be. It could be because, yeah, we tend to use with the first conditional, the models, the models. And mm -hmm. could, could expresses, could expresses future possibilities too. Yes, you can use could. My mayor could. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, that is another that is another model. That is another model that we can use for the first condition. Besides my yes, could. Because could express expresses future possibilities. Absolutely. Thank you. Did it? Next. What will happen if you don't work for hours? Me, teacher. Okay, let's go. For you. If you do uh, excuse me. Uh, if you don't work more hours, you won't have money to buy your laptop. Yeah. 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 Thank okay. you. It was fantastic. I think Gabriela, you wanted to participate. Uh, if you don't work more hours, you won't have much money. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks. Roxanne? Okay. If, if you don't work more hours, you will you will earn less money. Oh if yeah. Possible. <laughs> yeah, you will earn less money. Yeah, because you, you have extra. You know, if you work more hours, well in that case you have overtime. You get more money. You earn more money. So yes, very good. Thank you. Sweet. What do you think? Okay, it is similar. Yeah, the same. It is the same. Uh, if you don't work more hours, you won't earn a lot of money. Yes. Excellent. One. If you don't work more hours, you will have less money. Yes. Perfect. So you have similar answers. Very good. I like I like them. Josue, what about you, Josue? If you don't work more hours, you won't buy a new car. Ah, yeah. That is nice. Thank you. You did. What about you? If you don't work more hours, you will have more free time. Oh yeah, you will. You will. You will. You will have, have more free time. Free time, yes. Yeah, that's right. Mauricio, thank you. Good. Number two. Yeah. If you don't work more hours. Um, you will have more money. You will you will have you will you will have it oh okay be careful you want you want have you want you want have you want have yes okay you won't have absolutely very good just be careful because we yeah will you can use will or want will is for affirmative and want or will not is for is for negative sorry if you say will have it okay. That is different. Be careful. Be careful. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with number three, guys. What will happen if you take your medicine? I have a question Me. because oh. I don't know if I use the correct word. Um, okay. If you take your medicine, you will avoid the flu. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It's okay. You will you will avoid blue. You will avoid blue. Okay. Oh, only blue, right? Yeah, avoid blue. You can omit that. You can omit the article that. Okay. You can you can use it. It's okay, but I will prefer wood only flu. Sorry, only flu. Okay. Yes. Very good. That is nice. Roxana, I think. Okay. If 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 you take your medicine, you might feel better. Yes. You might feel better. Excellent. Yeah, because that is a possibility. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, somebody else, one of yours. My, my answer is similar to uh, Roxana. Yeah, no, no, no Okay, Copy yeah. Copy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay. I am kidding with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you take your medicine, you'll feel better. Yeah. Exactly. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go with. I think I saw that someone switch on the mic. I'm not sure. I'll listen to Gabriel. Okay, teacher. If you take your medicine, you will be feel good. Exactly. Very good. All right. Moving on to next, number four. What will happen if you don't work tomorrow? Then that will be fine, right? It will be excellent. Uh, Roxana. Okay. <laughs> if you don't work tomorrow, you might go to the cinema. Yeah. Yeah, you might go to the cinema. Excellent. Thank you. Cinema. Yeah, I cinema. say cinema. Cinema. cinema yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mauricio, what about you? Okay. If you don't work tomorrow, you will be fired. Yeah. Could be. Could be. You will be fired. Excellent. Luis, thank you, Marisa. If you don't work tomorrow, you will spend more time with your family. Yeah. Excellent. That is a nice one. Let's go with Judith. Thank you, Luis. Okay. Judith, ready? Oh, you did not here. Oh, I haven't noticed that she's here. Yeah, I think it's because she's having some issues. I will go with Oswe. If you don't work tomorrow, you need to search a new job. Repeat again. If you don't, if you don't work tomorrow, you need to search a new job. You say you need, right? You need. Yeah. Okay, be careful because we have to use will. Will, will. Oh, okay. We can use the model. It's fine, man. You oh, will. Okay. If you, you can don't say, work tomorrow, you will need to find a new job. You will need to find a job. Yeah, yeah. You will need to find a job. You will, you will, you will look for a new job. You will uh, search, as you said, for a new job. You know, you have, you have different options. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Roger? Yes. Um, if you don't work tomorrow, you'll have to take care of of the children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if you're if you're married, if you're married. To, you know, to somewhere, you have to do it. You have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go with one. If you don't work tomorrow, you might go to shopping. You might go shopping. Yes. You might go shopping. 
Remember, go shopping. Go shopping. Without okay, food. thanks. You're welcome. Next, well, the last one. What would happen if you have enough money? Okay. If you have enough money, you will buy a BMW. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that's a dream, right? That's a dream. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Good. Thank you, Liz. Appreciate I will go with Roxana and then Roy. Okay. okay. <clears throat> if you have enough money, you will buy a new car. Yeah. Excellent. Roy? If you have no money, you can go go on a trip to Paris. To Brega? Can you repeat again, Roger? Please. Ah, uh, okay. If you have no money, you can go go on a trip to Paris. Hmm. No sé si equivoco. Yeah, I, I mean the, the idea is is good. Only one thing that you have to use. You can use will, or you can use my, or may, or could probably instead of can. Instead of can. Okay. Probably you can say if you have enough money, you might go to Paris. You, you might go to Paris. Yes, you might go to Paris. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Uh let's go with Gabriela. Yeah, really? Okay. If you have enough money, you may buy a car. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, Thank you, Gabriela. Okay. okay, I will go with one. I think Jose is having some issues right now. One. If you have enough money, you might give me a little. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is a good one. Perfect. Let's go with Judith. Can you want to help me? Wants to help me? If you have enough money, you might buy anything. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. And well, I think Mauricio is missing. Mauricio. Uh, if you have enough money, uh, you will buy my car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That is a nice one. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Perfect. Let's see if Josue can help us. Josue is missing. Yeah. If you have enough money, you will travel to another country. Yes, that is right. Thank you. Well, uh, guys, this is basically all. Let me know if you have questions. Any questions? Are the first conditional? No questions. Is everything clear? My question was about the can, but you answer with a, yeah. a, a feel. Yeah, I, I mean, it's because. But you answer the question. <laughs> yeah, it's because in this case, we are using um, future possibilities, right? Mm -hmm. So we use real or want, and we can use the models. We can use uh, can, I'm sorry, could, my or may. Ooh. Yeah, my, okay. may, could, and we use would. Would is another one, would. Uh, good too. Would, yeah, would because that express future possibilities. We can vary, we can have these ones, these ones. What else? With the first okay. conditional, with the first conditional. Somebody else, questions? everything clear yes everything is clear yes. everything is clear teacher okay yes teacher amazing i took in the new information yes teacher perfect okay everybody we're going to finish right here because it's time thank you so much for being here during this week we're going to continue next week, next Monday, uh, with a new week. And it will be a pleasure 
to be with you one more time in a new week. That will be next month, right? Don't forget, I know that every most of you, or the majority of you, have finished with the platform. That is really nice. Thank you so much for completing everything. Congratulations. We will continue next week. And if you have missed, if you missed uh, the platform, if you haven't completed the platform yet, please, we'll have the weekend next week in order to do it. I know that you are about to finish. That's really cool. We'll continue next Monday, okay? We're going to finish right here. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice Friday. I'm uh, sorry, Rick Breyer. I don't know if you have a question. No. Bye, teacher. Thank you, sir. Good night. It's a pleasure. Well, have a good night. Perfect. Good. good night. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Yeah. Have a nice weekend. Have a great weekend too. Yes. Have a nice you. weekend, everybody. Yeah. Have thank you. Thank you. Thanks. See you next month. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. See, See you. Good night, teacher. Everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I appreciate it. Bye bye. 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 Bye.